Hi, I'm Trent. I'm a motion graphics artist here at Igniter Media, and today we're going to take a look at customizing Igniter Original After Effects projects. One of the most powerful but underused features on the Igniter Media website are After Effects projects. Only about 1% of our members have ever downloaded a project, and I want to change that. I want to help you see how you can download an After Effects project, open it up, not be afraid, change your title to exactly what you want to say, and be ready to go. So here we are in After Effects. Now your After Effects may not look exactly like mine, and that's okay. The things we talk about in this tutorial will translate from different versions. Uh, what we want to do, the first thing here is open up our color matrix. I, I downloaded the color matrix welcome and it looks like we're missing a font but that's okay because you might be missing a font as well because sometimes we use paid fonts and uh, maybe you don't want to pay for that font. That's okay. Just find a font that works in your setting even if you just have a font that you use for your church. Use it in here. So inside our uh, project folder we have uh, some folders set up here, the render these folder, that's where you're going to render from. And we also have typically an edit text here. If there's not a composition that says edit text here, you will probably just edit the text inside your main comp here. So I'm going to double click this, it loads up in our uh, timeline viewer and we have our text. Now uh, this is our, our final. And we have little roadmaps, little direction finders here every once in a while. Things like this green layer means that that's probably something you're going to change. It says open to edit text, so we're going to double click that to open it up. And here we have some more green layers and they say edit title here and edit, edit subtitle here. Well, we're just going to edit the subtitle for this one. We'll make it say welcome to First Baptist. So I'll double click or I can even grab my title tool over here and I'm going to select our church and type in First Baptist like so and now if I close this go back over to my main comp you can see that it has updated fully all the way across the composition to the very end of the timeline and it's ready to render. Now let's talk about rendering because this is where some folks might get tripped up. I'm going to click on Composition, Add to Render Queue, and over here in the Render Queue, we have a Render Settings option. This is where you're going to probably render with your best settings. And then we have an Output Module. Your Output Module is where you get your codec from. Now we're not going to do lossless because that's my animation codec on, on my Mac. And I need to make sure that you know uh, what is best to render on uh, for your machine. So if you have a Windows machine, you might just look at AVI or maybe research some codecs for yourself on there. I'm going to click on Format Options and select ProRes 422 on my Mac. Hit OK. Everything else seems to be fine here. Hit OK. And this is when we would render. So I'm going to skip the render for now because it takes a little bit to render. But what I do need to let you know is that you want to use a full frame codec, something like ProRes or AVI or some codec that you decide is your output codec, your high res output codec. You don't want to render out your H.264 from After Effects because After Effects isn't really built to handle that. Now, once you render out your full frame codec, you can then use something like Adobe Media Encoder to compress your file to be able to use it in your presentation software. Okay, now let's move on to our next project. Now we're going to jump to our You Are Known Sermon Series bumper. And this guy is a little more involved. We have some text that happens throughout with a couple of uh, cuts and then a little looping animation down here at the end. Now it says my green layers here all say open to edit text, but I know that I first want to just come down here and open this guy. We'll, we'll start here and then work our way backward. So instead of you are unknown or you are known, which is the final result of that, I'm going to type I am for my title one. For title two, 
I'm just double clicking and I'm going to type in here unloved like so. Now that's updated there and I need to check on this little tag here at the end, this little red bar that covers up the un part. That's the important bit. So I'll drag him over a little bit there. So when he comes on the screen, he pops into the right spot. And we can close this composition and check our others to make sure that everything lines up correctly. So this just says un. We already have un, and that's fine. This has unknown. Okay, so we will double click here, open this up, and change with my text tool this text from known to loved. All right, so there we go. Clicking out of here makes that selection stick. I'll close this composition, scrub down a little bit in the timeline, see if there are any more. That one says un. There's something over here on the side, but I'm, I'm okay with that. And it looks like everything is good. I am unloved. Let's slide down just to the end. And it looks like that guy is using our unknown scene five, which we already changed. So we are good to go. All I need to do is set this up to render. So I'll go composition, add to render queue. Make sure one more time with my codec, I'm gonna use my ProRes 422. Okay, and click here to select where I save. Okay, so now we did skip over the render process, but I did want to show you what the final renders looked like. This is the Welcome to First Baptist. And here's the I Am Loved. Okay, there you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You can do this. If you have your own copy of After Effects, like, like these, well, I mean, if you have these, you probably want to ask your parents what, what this thing is. Uh, otherwise, you could go to Adobe and download your own version of After Effects, update your own projects, and your staff will love you. Now, if you have any questions about this process or any other thing you might want to learn from us about After Effects, leave that in the comments below. If you want to find more After Effects projects from Igniter Media, you can click on the link here. Please subscribe and thank you for watching. I had so much fun.